Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, you will learn how to export data from Comsol so that you can use your plot in any other plotting software. So let's say you have a Comsol file where you have done some simulation and there is some kind of plots and you want to export the data to either Microsoft Excel or let's say Notepad so that you can use the data to plot in some other software let's say matlab or origin gnu plot or any other software you wish so how to do that so let's jump back to our software so we are here in console let's say you have done some kind of a simulation and you have a plot so i purposely chose this plot where we have two graphs to show you uh, different ways in which you can export your data. First of all, the easiest and most convenient way which I like to use is just right click on the graph, not on the group, but on the graph. Just right click, click on copy plot data to clipboard. Just copy and let's say you have Microsoft Excel or any other Excel tool just right click and paste when you paste you will have a problem the problem is you will see that all the data will be in a single column to fix this go to data here you will have data then with the column selected click on text to column and select delimited click next and check the space after this click next and finish you will see that your x and y data will be separated now you can click and drag the four uh, these rows which are not that useful or you can delete and now you have your x and y data so this is basically your x and this is your y you can delete this height so this is your XY data. To check, you can select the two data, go to insert, here plot, and you can see that this is the same data that we had in COMSOL, right? So this is quite uh, a good and quick way to export your data from COMSOL to Excel. Now let us learn how to um, export your data to a file which is generally used by everyone. So you have your plot here, just click and click on add plot data to export. When you click on add plot data to export, you'll get few options. So what is this? Let's say you have multiple curves. So here I have two curves, right? One green and one blue. So what you can do is Let's say I want to keep it as a column and then I want to have it as a text file. Well, you can have multiple files. Um, here you have unstructured file format and something like that. So here I'll click browse and let's I'll write demo and click on save. Now uh, the file will not be saved until we click on export. So click on export. So now if I minimize my console, you will see that I saved a file in my desktop that is demo.txt. If I open the file, you will see that since I selected if multiple curve appendix columns, I'll have the data as two different Y values. So what is the advantage of this? Press Ctrl A to select all the doc, uh, data and I'll just copy. And now what I'll do is I will create a new sheet and I will paste it okay so Excel is smart enough so it will automatically divide the space into columns I'll just delete this and now you see if I select this and click on plot I have one plot now if I select these two and then if I click on plot I will have another plot and if I select the three columns and I have a plot, you will see that I have two plots but with two different columns. 
So if I select this graph, you can see that the first and the third column is selected. If I select this, these two columns are selected. So basically, let's say you have multiple graphs in console. What you can do is you can instead of uh, having your just right click copy to clipboard, the best way would be you go to plot data to export and in that section here if multiple curve save it as columns and save your file as text and then you will have your column for separate graphs and depending on the type of study you are doing you can uh, carry on with your analysis so thanks for watching this is what i wanted to explain to you guys if you want to support me do subscribe uh, to my work and support thank you for watching and take care